<laughs> because I figured you maybe would tell me. Is it recording now? What do you think? I don't know anymore. <laughs> good question. <laughs> That's a good question that you have. It, I can tell that it's still picking up me on that one, but it'll also pick me up over this, and I can do some edits in there. Okay. And well, we also have to get to be both sound equal. Equal. It is a not so chilly October night, which I was on, on, it was Monday, right? It got cool. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, so we just watched the, not the first episode. Sheridan's first, first episode. My first episode. Sheridan's first episode of Trailer Park Boys, which is towards, pro- I would say, probably near the end of season five. And Sheridan had never seen it. She didn't know the premise of it. And I, I said no that idea. I wanted to <laughs> have her watch the first episode. The only thing that I and knew about it is that Ashton Kutcher was in it. Ashton and Kutcher's was- not in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fire. You're thinking of the ranch. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're thinking of the ranch. You're thinking of the, ran- you're thinking of the ranch, which has, yeah, him and uh, Hyde. But no, Ashton Kutcher's <laughs> never made an appearance, and I doubt he ever will. Probably the biggest celebrity that made an appearance was Snoop Dogg in an episode was in it as... As, and then they had a musician, I think it was from Wham! in season two. Or was it Pearl Jam? It was one of the two. So, what were... <laughs> so, I made a couple notes. Okay, and these notes were... So, first, this is just observations that I got from the show. So, the first was, it's documentaries. It's not. Documentary style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is documentary style, yes. I said found footage, and then I realized that they... <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> So it's documentary style. Uh, Grump- <laughs> Grumpy Cat is one of the characters. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Are you? Why did you put Grumpy Cat? Is there's a lot of cats in the show, and I feel like th- that's interesting because there's a lot of cats in the show that Bubbles takes care of. I don't think I see a, saw a one cat that episode. No, it's him. He is Grumpy Cat. <laughs> no. Bubbles is Grumpy Cat. That I have never. Okay, I've never made that connect. I've never made. He does have a. Fr- yes, I think most people listening to this will probably know who Grumpy Cat is. So yes, Bubbles. I never made that connection. And it, he does look like Grumpy Cat. He also takes care of a lot of cats, which I did not know. So, which yeah, which was not in the episode. So it's interesting that you mentioned that because I was like, well, there's a lot of cats in this, but I didn't see a single cat in this episode. So what? So your response to that is what? That his face just his face reminds you of Grumpy Cat. Is okay. So lots of sideburns. There is uh, one pair of sideburns. <laughs> there are two. There are, there are two. Oh yeah, Julian has sideburns. Yeah. Okay, there are two pairs of sideburns, but they belong to the main character. So they're so they're, the they're like they're like ex- yeah they're like they're they're they're. It, they can't have a bat, like a little sta- name tag that says I'm the main character. <laughs> so instead, <laughs> they put sideburns on themselves. Uh, Rick, 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 Rick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a good part. They Rick, do. Rick. <laughs> he does say, okay. The thing about that is the episode you saw is a more, they are acting better than they did <laughs> in previous episodes. What I, the first season, what was really good about the first season was I could tell almost every single scene that was in it was probably the first or second take. They did not spend time on doing takes and they slowly learned how to write more and act more. And they're used, they, now there's throwaway jokes, which did you make a note about the police officers? Yeah, we'll go to that okay. later. <laughs> So they, uh, they now use throwaway jokes, which was not. And this is, some of the throwaway jokes are probably the funniest part of the show. Yeah. Uh, dope seller wants to go back to high school, <laughs> gets job as janitor. Dope <laughs> seller. Uh-huh. So Ricky did that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> dope seller. They, that's a common theme of the show, is a dope seller. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the one that I was laughing about a lot. <laughs> 
Drunk a cub. <laughs> drunk a cub. Drunk a cub. A drunken cub. I don't know if I saw any drunken cubs. There was. They do live in Canada, so there's probably oh, bears. Oh, he said about a boot. A boot. Yes, they do Sorry. say a boot in Surrey, and uh, I, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, drunk accompanied by shirtless guy. <laughs> Gets uncomfortably close. Gets uncomfortably close to people, yes. Okay, I'm gonna he do does. Same. Drunk and company drunk by shirtless no, guy no, gets no, uncomfortably no. close to people. No, no, no. I'm try to get through this. Drunk and company. I said that part. <laughs> and Sheridan's drunk, lost drunk. it. Oh, oh, she's oh, got it. Let's. Oh, no, God. you're not going to do it. <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Drunk accompanied I'm the host of this podcast. Gets... <laughs> it's my name. I'm Mr. Ryan Moreland. Drunk accompanied by shirtless guy gets uncomfortably close to people when yes. he talks. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, there we go. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. And it took you an extra two minutes to repeat what I said back to me. I do um, like that. That's a great that's a great part of the show is that Mr. Leahy, this uh super bar the trailer park supervisor, he uh he he he's an alcoholic the entire series, and he does like to get about six inches away from other people's noses to try to punctuate what he's saying. But he always does that, so it feels like nothing's punctuated. Uh, P guns and eerie no- <laughs> noise. I can't say. P anything. guys. P P guns and eerie noises. P noise. guns and eerie noises. Okay. Uh, we threw away coffee. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going to do. That was a throwaway joke. The um, cops get called to the scene where Ricky has been shooting off guns. And Ricky, throughout this series, and if you watch more, you're going to see this. He has a way of speaking to cops that always gets them <laughs> where they kind of reveal information and it helps him weasel his way out. Like one of his common thing is he'll say, do you know Jim? And everybody, and then you see, it cuts away to me. Like everybody knows Jim. So like, you know, I can't get, get, everybody knows a Jim. So it's easy to get out of stuff. You know, just, just throw that name out there. And then there's someone who's going to say something about Jim. That's clever. So it's, uh, so he does that, but they do come, the cops come to the scene. They're making a big deal. He says that he's the one that called him out there. He says kids were shooting off guns and <laughs> the cops get very frustrated. And yeah, they say as a throwaway joke, we threw out coffee for this. Just <laughs> exasperated. That was probably my favorite part. And it's, it's not funny when I describe it. It's not It's funny in, in the scene, but that's, that's kind of the style that they've gotten to so far. There's like 14 seasons of it. Oh my god. Did you not know that either? No. No, There's so many seasons. The first couple seasons are like three, or like, not three episodes, but like six episodes, and then it's like eight episodes. They're all really short seasons, though. Mm -hmm. So you just cruise right through them. And then I think it's around season eight or something, it gets picked up by Netflix. Okay, I was wondering. And so the quality gets a lot better, and that's probably why people didn't hear about probably why i didn't hear about it in high school because it was a canadian show on showcase oh, okay and i didn't know about it until it got picked up by netflix maybe a couple of years ago when i started seeing and hearing it on wherever wherever it was i saw it on netflix and i was like what is this show about is this like that uh Oh, what's it called that rummage show where the guys go all across the country and they go to like junkyards and stuff it's called something pickers, isn't it? I don't it's know. It's called junkyard pickers. I have no idea. People are going to listen to this and be like, oh, these, 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 this silly boy and silly girl. They don't even know. They don't even know about the good, good boy pickums <laughs> that go through the junkyards and pick everything. Or they'll just be like, no, they, they got it right. And he, he's just going on a tangent for no reason. What were the questions you had about the show? Um, Did you have questions? Because I told you I'm not going to answer anything past the introduction scene. Who is Lucy? And it, who's oh. Lucy? Lucy is his baby mama. Oh, okay. And he has a daughter. He has a mama? yes. Hence the hence the term baby mama. Yeah. Oh yes. The daughter. The daughter was the one that he stole the bookcase for. And that was my last observation was, uh, where did those sunglasses go? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a point. 
you know how in the office they'd always kind of end on a really like weird note where you're just like what yeah that's kind of how trailer park boys ends okay it's every every single episode kind of ends with like either a a nice scene or like a what okay fine whatever scene so in any other questions um yeah uh um no <laughs> no your only question I mean, was about lucy well who's lucy you 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 didn't have a question of why is randy not wearing a shirt <laughs> That wasn't a question? Because that was a question for me for the first three seasons that was never answered. Was it answered? Was it answered? He doesn't do, he doesn't do shirts. That's it? That's, the, that's, that's, it? that's it? He doesn't do shirts. I don't do shirts. He says that a couple of times in the series. I don't do shirts. And I kind of want to use that with other things. Just be like, I don't do name tags. <laughs> I, I want to, I use that excuse a little bit when I worked at whatever. Just, I don't do name tags. When I forgot my name tag, I would say I don't do name tags. I haven't, get, I haven't gotten uh, written up at a single time the entire time I worked at Whataburger. Three plus years. For those who don't and, know what Whataburger is. No, oh. For those that don't know what Whataburger is. <laughs> actually, a lot of people know about Whataburger. Really? It's, a, it's in California, and I believe well, Arizona. No, it's not. It's is in it? California, and I believe Arizona, and I believe New Mexico, and... I want to say there's a couple in Oklahoma. Whataburger is like an In-N-Out. And if you don't know what an In-N-Out is, well, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I enjoy In-N-Out. In-N-Out is like a White Castle, which is, you'll probably know from the, it's kind of like a White Castle. White Castle's kind of regional. It's not Southern regional, which is what Whataburger is. Where where White Castle gives little tiny itty bitty little sliders, Whataburger gives really big burgers <laughs> that you can really sink your teeth into because it originated in Texas and we're recording this from Texas and that's just kind of what we do. It's kind of like that Jim Gaff. Have you heard that Jim Gaffigan bit about him just no. about vacations? No. The premise of it is people just kind of go around on vacations and they're just looking for things to do between meals. So, They'll be like, all right, yeah, and then we'll do this, and we should probably eat something while they're there. And then after that, we could eat something. They'll pro- And then we can go here. They'll probably have, like, a <laughs> salad bar there, right? <laughs> so it's kind of just it's kind of just that. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no. I think you didn't, didn't have any other questions. I mean, who is everyone? Who is? <laughs> You no, didn't okay. have a question why Bubbles makes weird noises like <laughs> Why are they living in a trailer park? Why are they living they've always lived in a trailer park. They were all raised in a trailer that right that trailer Very park. Very unfortunate. Is it unfortunate? That they never or is grew it, out of it? Or is it kind of beautiful that everybody there <laughs> was born and raised <laughs> every everyone there was born and raised in there? That's very unfortunate. I don't see how that's beautiful at all. It could be beautiful. It, be beautiful. it just depends. Beauty, Beauty is an eye of the beholder. <laughs> no other questions. Do you have questions? Do you, do I have I mean I still have questions. I still don't know five almost yeah, almost done with season 5. What Bubbles deal is? I think he's autistic. I'm not sure. I feel like you've been far away from the microphone this entire time. I feel like I feel like this may all be a waste, Sheridan. I don't think it is, though. I, I don't think it's that far away from you. You've been pretty far away from the microphone. You've been you've been playing jazz with the distance. So let's just let's let's just go to break. 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 Sorry, Randy. I got this T-shirt for you to wear tonight on stage. Do any guitar changes? No thanks, Alex. I don't wear shirts. Oh no, you gotta wear a shirt, please. I never do. Uh, Randy doesn't wear shirts, Mr. Larson. That's just the way it is. Well, Mr. Leahy, maybe you can talk him into wearing this shirt. He doesn't wear shirts, not even in the wintertime. How did you idiots get in here? Hi, Alex. Don't uh, worry about it, Leahy. Hey, I know this guy. Am I recording now? Okay, so this is it, like... It looks so nice. It looks like it's not picking up any excess stuff. That's what I like about it. Okay. That looks so nice. This is me talking. Well, this is me talking. <laughs> Something, something entertaining, like, you know, what's your favorite sandwich? Mine's grilled cheese. Or. <laughs> what's your favorite sandwich? Mine's grilled cheese. That's it. Next topic.
No. Oh, <laughs> 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 Give me time to answer. <laughs> That's nice, dear, but you didn't ask me. You didn't ask yourself, you asked me. <laughs> well, I just kind of threw out grilled cheese. <laughs> and then I realized that this might not be my favorite sandwich. <laughs> oh, this whole podcast cannot just be you silently. <laughs> If you just, I would appreciate if you just leaned into it. Speak, speak into your, speak into your, speak into it. <laughs> speak into it. Okay. <laughs> speak into it. We're gonna be talking food for okay. a second. We actually mentioned Whataburger earlier, and this is not a promotion for a Whataburger because I worked for, for there for three years, and there's nothing really magical about it. What is magical is when I worked at one of them uh, that I was sexually harassed about every single shift. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just rampant, there is rampant sexual harassment, probably at any whatever you go to. I just want everyone out there to know this. So now you know this is not promotion, because just, just ruin possible promotions for the future. Oh, just. <laughs> whatever you're doing. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. You are not putting that in but, there. No, <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't think I'd be... Because just you right don't get sexually assassinated. Just right in the front. <laughs> just, just, that was the gold open. Just right in there. Whataburger gets sexually, really sexually like harassed Whataburger. every single shift. No, but the employees are the people. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. It was, the, it was employee to employee. I guess that doesn't make it any okay. better, better, but... <laughs> Some now I just feel somebody. Dirty. Yeah, well, we were gonna <laughs> we were gonna talk about food, but let's go into this for a second. <laughs> uh, there was a time, so <laughs> this sounds really weird, but there was a time where <laughs> occasionally me and a group of other guys at Whataburger, <laughs> whenever one was turned away and obviously not expecting it, we would run up and just smack him right on the butt. <laughs> And it became like a really bad thing to where like it became a point where someone was like, we need to stop doing this so often. <laughs> we're like, we need one snack. And the weird part is that some of them were 16 year old children. Oh so God. I was smacking 16 year old boys on the butt. It got to the point where there was a very like really big guy named <laughs> probably six, six and like 350 pounds he was a big old guy and he uh he was getting trained to wrestle amateurly <laughs> and uh there was one night this kid oh i i, I already said <laughs> i guess i can say <laughs> okay right when he they him and another kid were leaving he just gets me real good right, <laughs> right on the butt or was it or was the other kid there's a <laughs> in her one of them got me real good and so i go up to <laughs> and I was like, hey, look, I'll slide you like three bucks if tomorrow during football cramp practice, you just wreck their, just, just wreck their butt. Just like completely destroy their glutes. And so he did that for me. So I paid, in short, I paid a 16 year old to smack the crap out of another 16 year old's glutes. This was consensual, right? <laughs> For three, for three bucks. I don't, I don't think it was consensual for. I think <laughs> came up and just attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. There was. <laughs> but we were gonna talk food. I don't know if that <laughs> makes it any easier. But that's a great little intro to this. You see. Sometimes the food is supposed to be like no, an assault. No, it's not. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes have you have you watched a show called Food Wars? <laughs> <laughs>
which is an anime where it's surrounded by cooking. But for some reason, the clothes tear off because it's crazy. (laughs) It's actually a really pretty great show. And if you're interested in anime and just like anime, you should just go ahead and watch it because it's actually beautifully made. And actually, the story is pretty inspiring. But (laughs) anime is all hell. And it's in, and some of them are. <laughs> it is weird that in that show, some some of the characters are like, "Oh, it's so sweet," and they're like, "Oh, it's I just I'm not gonna succumb to it." And you're like, "What? What's going on here?" What's it gets kind of sexual. It's, it's so <laughs> sexual. It gets so so weird. And when I was reading the manga, I felt weird when I would bring it up on my laptop computer sometimes because I'd be like. I don't know what's going to happen when I click to the next page. <laughs> and I kind of like look around and be like, is somebody look what I'm going to do? <laughs> and I was like, why am I feeling so weird? I'm just reading a, like a show about food. I'm just reading this, this manga about food. <laughs> why don't you think food's supposed to be an assault on the senses? I just don't. Assault is a very strong <laughs> word. <laughs> but food's a strong thing. It's what food is one of those things that binds people together. They, sit around fires and they cook and they eat and there's there's tons of shows man versus food anthony bourdain no reservations uh what is what is that what was the show with andrew zimmerman called wasn't it was like it was called like weird foods or something like that. yeah weird foods with Andrew. weird foods or something like that there's series that you'll find on netflix about I think there was one that was just called f- food, maybe, and it was it was sent around like the 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 four elements too. Like food's one of those things that it it's always been there, and it's nothing. It's something that you can always connect with somebody about. We could have, mul- and we probably will have multiple segments about food, but this one is particularly just about <coughs> weird concoctions I made. And I actually I actually made Sheridan drink a weird concoction earlier, and I just it is. It wasn't that weird. It was actually mostly just ginger ale. It was flat ginger ale. It was flat, ale. and that's what made it gross. <laughs> flat. What do you think was in that drink? I don't know. Well, what do you think was, was in that drink? Lean into <laughs> it. <laughs> it. Obviously, it was ginger ale, and it was some sort of flavored beer. Like, it wasn't like... It didn't taste like... Um, frothy? Frothy. Or Is that, that's not a taste. It was wheat. It was a wheat beer. It was. It was a. It was a wheat, and it was. It was Blue Moon, uh, Blue Moon beer that you get from any other place. It wasn't like an IPA. It wasn't. It wasn't the, the cappuccino Blue Moon, which I am a huge fan of, and that I wish taste good together though. And I, huh? That wouldn't taste good together though. I don't think what I gave you tasted good. Any of the things <laughs> that I gave you tasted good together. <clears throat> um, it was, but it was just a normal blue moon. It, it wasn't the cappuccino, which I would love seasonal year. Yeah, I wish it wasn't seasonal. I wish it was year round. And that's another thing with, you can, you can mix things and then you can, you can have those with foods too, which is the weirdest things. Whoever, like, who came up with the idea of a white Russian? <laughs> Like, I don't know, because to me, the idea of vodka in milk doesn't sound good at all. Appealing at all. And it's it's okay. It's not great. I've tried white Russians with whipped cream flavor vodka, too. Not a huge fan. So, and I don't know <laughs> how drunk you have to be, but how, how much you need to drink where you need to, like, I feel like they were trying to hide the vodka in the milk. They're like, yeah, the milk, well, milk, milk has a very distinctive, like, smell. So if, if I, if anybody smells it, they're going to be like, oh, this smells just like it's turned, like it's a bad, like it's bad milk. (laughs) And they're not going to want to inspect it more. Like, maybe if I, maybe if I pour, maybe if I pour my vodka inside of some milk, no one's going to notice that there's any vodka in it. Well, that's the thing about cocktails in general is you're just pouring stuff into stuff and seeing if it works or yeah not. but the difference between that is tonic water with a twist of lime and some apple flavored vodka delicioso delicioso <laughs> okay i repeat <laughs> delicioso 
So weird concoctions. So weird con- weird concoctions. What else do you think was in that mixture? So we got ginger ale. There's other things in that. <laughs> in that. So there was there. Yes, there was. Um, yes, there was ginger ale. There was there was uh, some blue moon. What else do you think was in there? Was there some sort of like lemon something in there, like lemon juice or something? No. 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 Not that I can think of. I don't know what was there. In was there? a there was some was there, there was some Irish. Oh. No, yeah. I was going to say, is there Sprite? But No, you know. no, there was no. not Sprite. There was some <laughs> Irish bourbon in there that uh, huh. that David, who will futurely be on here, who gave me that as a, as a housewarming present. I actually kind of demanded it. <laughs> I was like, well, it's open. You you shouldn't drive from San Antonio to Austin with, with open liquor in your car. <laughs> Even though, even though I put several bottles of open wine and liquor in my trunk on the way from Corpus to San Antonio for a trip that was not too long ago. And I remember telling David, well, they can't search my car. Like, policemen can't search my car without a warrant. So, and they have no reasonable cause if, if you know, anything's going on. This took a turn. <laughs> it took a turn. It did take a turn. We haven't even really gotten into I'm glad that this... In this podcast, strange and bizarre and possibly, uh, I feel like we've talked about two almost taboo things, which is like drinking and driving <laughs> and assault almost. We're not going to put that in there. Oh, it's only in there. The entire, how, how can it be an I already referenced it? How can it now it's just going to fall flat. Now I will have spent time talking about nothing. But yeah, we just as long, if we have these tangents, good. I'm glad. That's what I'm hoping for with this is weird tangents about probably not what we're talking about. We were going to, and we are going to talk about strange concoctions. And speaking of Whataburger anyway, since we were speaking about it before, what what is your favorite thing that you, what's your go-to Whataburger thing? And I'll tell you what my go-to thing is, which is something that nobody would really one really really think about my go-to is usually the number one which is the just a plain whataburger with no onions and sometimes i like to get avocados on there if i'm feeling and sometimes avocado. really crazy and that's pretty normal yeah. pretty average but you can also get a lot of weird stuff there's some stuff that they've taken off the menu some stuff that they put on the menu some stuff that they've just kept and so upon the arrival of the buffalo ranch chicken sa- chicken strip sandwich there was buff there was now buffalo sauce and there is now two types of ranch there was the <laughs> there's the buttermilk ranch you're giving me a look like you're like i didn't know there was even this much stuff i didn't see you're laying things if there's a whataburger near you there are two types of ranch in that place probably very likely there are two types of ranch in that place and you say hey i want a good ranch and see <laughs> see see what they give you <laughs> Tell them I want the good ranch. There's also fat free ranch. There's Thousand Island dressing, and there's a couple other sauces. There's, but the with the ranch is beside the point. The ranch I don't even order. What I do know is now there's buffalo sauce. So that buffalo sauce, guess what? If you didn't know this, if you haven't made this discovery for yourself, buffalo sauce goes phenomenal with bacon. So what you want to do is you want to get a sweet and sour burger without the sweet and sour sauce, without the mustard that come on it. So it's just going to be Monterey Jack cheese, two patties, American cheese, some bacon. And you say, instead of the sweet and spicy sauce, I would like some buffalo sauce on that hoe. And then they'll put a little bit. I would, I prefer a little bit of sauce on everything. Some people prefer more. What I'm telling you, buffalo sauce goes phenomenal with bacon. That's a tame concoction. <laughs> The very tame thing you can do. It's something that'll make you happy and it'll make your taste buds happy. Hit, well, do you want to know one of the weirdest things somebody told me to do? Or some of the of weird course. things that people have told me? I thought me you were just going to talk about what okay. you got, but. What yeah. I got? No, because I worked there for no, three yeah, years. Tell so me, what's the weirdest thing somebody well, <laughs> ordered? There was, there, was a, there was a guy who very frequently, and it wasn't too weird. But he liked to have 
grilled onions in his taquito. And that always kind of was, I guess it wasn't weird to me, but I was like, onions, like it just onions in it. Like, like he just wanted the eggs and onions. That's all he wanted. That is awesome. And it's kind of strange to me. It wasn't, I mean, it's not bizarre, but that was one of those, he was a frequent customer. Like he was a regular. So it was weird that that was like, he came in, you know, four times a week, you know, like 6 a.m. And he would get a taquito, just eggs and onions. That's really weird because usually uh, you pair that with like a meat. Onions? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't get any meat in it. So it was even, I made it weirder. Um, the, one of the weird things, somebody told me that they wanted their, their lettuce dry. <laughs> which stumped me. <laughs> And How I, do you even go about doing that? Exactly. I was like, <laughs> let us try. So I I didn't know what they wanted me to, <laughs> to do. And I threw it on the grill. See, what's funny about it is because it's Whataburger, because it's a fast food restaurant, and they're giving you something like... <laughs> they're giving me very specific instructions. Well, the motto is just the way you like it. <laughs> They've I've had to grill... Um, I think I had to grill pickles and tomatoes before as well. But and it's grilling always, versus I was drying. Like, oh yeah, I was <laughs> very confused why they said dry. I was a strange, strange request to me. I didn't get it. It, it didn't connect in my head. And I said, and I, I looked and I said, what's the special on this? And they said, well, they want the lettuce dry. And I was like, the lettuce dry. And so... What they really, I guess what they wanted me to do was like undampen their lettuce or something. <laughs> I don't, the fact that I remember it is an important thing. Like that makes it weird is that I remembered it. Um, another weird thing. Well, I don't know if this is weird, but it was, it was great at the time. There was a, there was a, I used to work overnight. So I used to work. From very typically, I worked from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. And so there'd be a drunk rush at where I worked. So a lot of times, the the girl who was doing drive through she was actually really good at getting people to, like, order more than they wanted. Awesome. And one person, one time, a guy ordered, like, small fries and onion rings on his burger as well. On it. And just, on it. just wanted that. He wanted a fried egg. He wanted... Uh, you know, he got, he got all the typical stuff, pickles, uh, I, maybe tomato. I don't know, but he got most of the typical stuff, but then onion rings, French fries, a fried egg. He wanted hash browns on there as well. And I was like, dude, this is a, this is a junior burger. This is, this That's is not, not fit. <laughs> I was like, this is not structurally fit. The junior burgers are, uh, three inches round. They're three inches in diameter. And I was like, this is not structurally sound. I don't know what you want me to do with this. So there's there's that. That's weird. I I typically yeah I wasn't ordering all these crazy things, but so and it's not like you get crazy 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 requests because if you gave somebody a crazy crazy request, don't expect your order to get made correctly. Yeah. Someone did tell me that they wanted fried pickles. Oh. So like they on their burger. They wanted the fried pickles on their burger and uh which was i mean people order fried pickles some yeah. people order fried pickles they wanted them on their burger but i don't know why you would want your pickles thrown in in a vat of grease that was just used to cook chicken as well <laughs> by the way i have another tangent mm -hmm. if you do if you have a friend that works at a water burger or really any fast food establishment that has pies, like the little <laughs> slider pies. A great way to ruin their day. Now, this will cost you a little bit, but typically most of the fast food establishments you go to, they're like a dollar or so. Mm -hmm. You can go and you can say, I would like 50 pies. <laughs> And you'll sit there and have a phenomenal 10 minutes just watching <laughs> that fry person lose their mind. Oh. <laughs> like they may quit on the spot. 
you can also go to a Whataburger and say, I would like 50 grilled cheese. <laughs> And that will cost you about 50. Actually, it'll probably cost you a little bit more. You could probably say, I want 40 grilled cheese, and you'll still see that person. It always going when it's busy, too. This is when you want to do it. You want to go when they're busy. Or you could do both and just see both the, both the person on grill and the person on fry just lose their mind and just, just kind of look blankly off in the distance. And you'll know you at least ruined two people's day. For about eighty dollars, by saying I would like forty, I would like, I would like forty grilled cheese, and I'd like forty forty apple or lemon pies or something like that, and they they may quit on the spot. Some men just like to watch the world burn. But um, another another crazy food thing, and we talked about this before recording, was that in high school I would grab things from the fridge or from the freezer. And would you like to explain what our parents' freezer looks like, Sheridan? I'm Ryan. (laughs) (laughs) In case we haven't figured that out. Um, We are siblings. We will probably put this towards the beginning of the podcast. No, no, no. We'll... (laughs) No, 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 no. It's everything's going to come out as just a beautiful symphony of sound and just pure theater of the mind. I want people to be confused. This is the first episode. This will be in the first episode. People will figure this out. I, I everything's going to be a cold open. Uh, but describe our parents' freezer, please. Um, the way a- you would like me, you know, I would describe it. You know, just a cluster meats of over frozen meats that are expired by two months <laughs> uh-huh. and what does and what does our mother typically say when we when we mention that hey this this, this expired <laughs> oh, no, in november oh no it's still good <laughs> why does she say it's so good <laughs> because it's frozen yeah. <laughs> because it's frozen it's she's still like good. <laughs> she's she's acting like she's like no i i saw them put the preservatives on there <laughs> I put them in the freezer myself. I know they're still good. I know they should be fine. Yeah, both of our parents are like that. It can be expired by one time we have. Oh, it was in probably the, a year. Do you want to explain the uh, snow cone or the uh, ice cream cone? Oh yeah, box? we did have we did have ice cream. Yeah, we did have wafer ice cream cones that were expired by a year. And I was like, why is this still in no, here? No, we had an ice. We had. Okay, we had ice cream cones that were expired by eight years. Oh, was, it, was it that long? It was that long because it was as old as one of our cousin's kids. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Timothy. Timothy was... That's right. It was... I, I do remember that because I went over... I think I went over to Dad and I said, Hey, you have a person living in this house that these ice cream cones are... <laughs> that these ice cream cones are older than. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so that's just a premise of of the food. So I took all this this uh, this maybe rancid, about to go rancid food. Uh, it, it, it some of some of it at the point may have just been blubber. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not certain. But I would take bacon, and I would take sausages, and I would take hamburger meat. You know, stuff and stuff that they were just not eating. And I just fry it together and just throw it in my face. I remember. I made a grilled cheese sandwich that had, yeah, bacon sausage, yeah, bacon, sausage hamburger meat. I think there was some macaroni as well too, and just plowed that down, plowed that down as it well. It smelled horrific. No, it didn't. You don't remember? Yeah, how it I smelled. did because it was seven thirty in the morning, and you would be making this this <laughs> stuff. I did do it. I did do it early in the morning. I and I didn't smoke marijuana in high school, and I still don't. But by by that type of behavior. It it was suspicious. <laughs> it was. Sus- I did kind of wonder. <laughs> you're like, what is he doing? Why is he high right now? No, just I just wanted to assault my taste but buds. Okay, but it's not assaulting them because it's assault. Assaulting. There's it's no- assaulting. <laughs> assault is such a negative connotation, though. You're not enjoying no, your food because unless assaulting you're scared. Is something negative. What's another? It's powerful. I mean, food is it's- powerful. <laughs> food is assault's not always negative. You can take it as negative. <laughs> do, do you know? Do you even know the difference between assault and battery, Sheridan? <laughs> I'm not battering my taste buds, which sounds delicious, by the way. 
I'm just assaulting them. I'm making them go, whoa, what's going on here, bud? That was hot when I screamed. Probably should have taken, probably should have taken my face. What? Sorry. But. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but we also, that leads me to, we had the weirdest, growing up, we had the weirdest breakfast breakfasts that our mother would somehow not <laughs> wonder about. I don't know, because I remember I, there was a time where for about a month I would eat cookie dough for breakfast. <laughs> she was, pre- she was pretty relaxed about what we ate for breakfast. That is true. <laughs> She, she, I, I mean, I think she was just glad that she didn't have to make anything. <laughs> I think that was the main purpose. But you're right. She wasn't, she was pretty much down with whatever as long as I wasn't like, hey, I'm just going to eat butter for breakfast. But if you said cookie dough, like it's, it's not, it's not how you should send your child. Were you going to school at the time, though, or was it summer? Oh, no. It was, it was during school year. <laughs> it was during school year? Bizarre. And how, how old were you? That was probably that was probably eighth grade. But remember, there was literally a year of your life where you would just eat Lay's potato chips for I breakfast. Just, no. Yes, you did. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> you don't remember it? No. <laughs> I did not go a year. Yes, I probably did. went a couple of weeks. No, you went a full year just eating Lay's potato chips for breakfast. And I was really worried about you. <laughs> oh no, that's not a breakfast. Hey Hey, if you're a if you're a tyke out there, don't do that. <laughs> don't eat potato chips just for breakfast. It's a. Uh, it'll probably all those trans fats are gonna catch up to you. I know you're thinking, no, I'm gonna stay young and thin forever. That's a lie. That yeah. Uh, I don't remember that. I remember there being almost a year where I ate the same cereal for breakfast every day. I do remember eating Which was mini wheats. Yeah, I remember eating mini wheats for a whole a whole year. I also remember there were several times where if there was like anything from the night before, I'd be more than happy to eat that. Specifically macaroni and brisket. Yeah, I yes. Yeah. <laughs> macaroni and brisket tortillas uh, uh, yeah. are phenomenal. Uh, yeah. But and that's a good thank you. That is bring it back <laughs> to like good weird mixtures that are just great. Um there's a food truck that I would go to at the old store that I was at and uh they served this thing called a called a Philly Mac where it's Philly cheese like it was Philly cheese steak and it was also sauteed onions and grilled bell peppers and also chicken and macaroni all like on this sub sandwich that's genius brilliant okay (laughs) and like you're like you're like there's a lot of different stuff and but when you eat it all together you're like oh this is so good it's so nice yeah that is true it's so nice i'm done you done yeah yeah Who'd you have in mind? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 